guys, it's me. When Margaret did come over yesterday, and I'll show you what the one thing I got done. Yeah, it's pretty funny. We always laugh about how little we get really get done in a day, but we have fun. Um, but she, for some reason, when I ordered from Spellbinders Big Sale, the last one, it went to her house. It came up with her address, but I'd already hit purchase, and so, anyway, she brought it over. I don't know how that happened, but anywho, so let me show you that first. And you'll all be excited because everybody keeps telling me I needed this, so I got it. The tiered tray. I got the tiered tray. So there it is. So now I gotta make something with that. Um, obviously. Or I wouldn't have ordered it. <laughs> I don't make any sense half the freaking time. Let's see, they're all in here. I know I got something to go with the tear tray, but that wasn't on sale. I just got it because I had enough in my order to get free shipping. So there we go. So I got the tiered tray, cute. The rest of this, I believe, is on sale. Oh, what's the deal here? For some reason, it has a sticker on it. So clear stamps, parcel, and post. What is this? Okay. Okay, anyway, parcel and post stamps, and they say things like, Dear friends, kindly delivered to my dear friend, letters for Santa, stuff with a million thanks. And I hope I got the actual, I might have misunderstood. Oh, I did, okay. It's like, did I get the actual mailbox? I just thought this was so cute. So here's the parcel and post cutting dies. Cute. That's pretty good size. I just think that's adorable. And so I got the decorations. So here I got the Christmas decorations. I'm doing a terrible job of filming here. I left one of the tables up for Margaret and I yesterday. So that's what's going on behind me here. Okay. So that all goes together with the stamps. So I ordered a set like that. And again, those were on clearance or something. And then I got this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous 3D embossing folder. Love 3D. It's snow, obviously. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. And it's big. I mean, what is the size of this? Does it say? Flurry of snowflakes. Oh, one sec. It's bigger than an A4, though, or A2. Um, got this pretty stencil. And what is this one? This is another male one. This is what it does. Right there. Amazing Paper Grace. And these are the dies. And it's a 3D project. So I could do my Valentine's with that, right? Yep. Cute. So there you go. Okay. Oh, and then I got the... So these were like 10 bucks for each of these, the dies of the month. I seem to think I'm really getting away with some. And this is the large trucking through the season. So it's a truck and it has the different seasons you can put in the back of the truck. It shows you here what you can do. Very cute. So it's got the happy birthday. You can do Valentine's, I think. No, and you could add, it's kind of like the tiered tray where you can add, the, some of these could go on the tiered tray, like the pumpkins. So yeah, they could be used with different things. It's got the bumper there. What is that thing? Hmm. The bumper, but what? I'm trying to figure out what that thing is. I'm not a mechanic. <laughs> it must be part of the truck. Anywho, okay, keep moving, Kim. This is definitely yells, screams, rather, whatever. Uh, it's a pocket full of love, large die of the month. I'm thinking Valentine's Day. So, yeah, there we go. So, that I ordered in December before I was on my trying to not spend as much. Because I'm not going to say it's a freeze, right? You guys are so cute. You do what you. And I'm like, I know. I know that. But I just wanted to clarify. Okay. So what Margaret and I, I decided I'd watched um, Susie T Susan Tucker. 
And because of her, I ordered the mica powders. Love them, very pretty. But I don't know that I'm doing it right. So I did, sorry, I'm moving all over. Let me show you. I just kind of played around on black paper with it. And not so much, trying to brush it off. I think this one came out the best. And these are um, from my Stampin' Up. I went in the mustache, Flurry of Wishes. I've had that for quite a while and it has matching dyes, but I just used the stamps. Um, it's an old set. But I think, I don't know, Susan, if you watch here, if you can comment, um, the little pocket or, you know, the little pillow you use, do I, I think on this one I used that first and then went in with my Versa Mark and then went over it with a mica and then a brush. Because this one, the other one smeared quite a bit and this, this came down too hard and then I was just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just playing around, so toss those other than the one but I oops geez, I got all my Dollar Tree stuff here but I did now where did I put it I did one on blue and it came out I just use it as a background um with the mica but I end up with these this is what I'm talking about little smudges here and there and I can't get them off so if anybody knows what I need to do so that doesn't happen and then the rest of the day I spent making, and so did Margaret, this dude. We watched Susan, watched you, um, and I was showing her her card where she did the woods in the background with this bear. And I've done the bear before, but he is really, really time consuming. And his friend, the woodpecker. So it's really cute, but it's like, oh my gosh. So then I just tore paper and went over it with some blue on the edges to look like piles of snow and then did a little watercolor blue at, at his feet so it looked kind of grounded him and i just cut him we both cut him out on um watercolor paper and watercolored in each piece rather than cut each piece in different colors so and then i put him up on foam dots and for this i had given margaret the tip to put it on just cut out a lot of the branch so it pokes up because there's no way you're going to get enough foam tapes narrow enough for that. And then I put the woodpecker on foam tape as well. So that's what we did yesterday. I was like, holy crap, that took, that took the bulk of our day, but we went out to lunch and you know, it's a whole thing, you know, visiting and munching and doing whatever. But yes, we watched Susan Tootsie Tucker and she is awesome. If you guys, I'll try to leave again the mica powder or her channel below she's she does like a card a day or um, something a day through different challenges and it's like oh my gosh amazing maybe i will be able to do that someday so rebecca biss sent me that dollar tree card and she saved me it was a nice generous dollar tree card so thank you thank you thank you rebecca but of course, I saw all kinds of new things out, so that got me most of what I wanted, and then I added my own money to it because, you know, once I start seeing stuff, it's like, oh, God. So I'll start in, but I thought, you know, I love the bees, so here's a black and white. It's got the honeycomb or the wired look, kind of a farmhouse material look. So cute. And while I'm on that... I ended up going back today because I was saw these and I thought, what am I going to do with those? And then I went on, I'm on Dollar Tree DIY, right, Facebook groups, and they give you ideas, which is dangerous. Whether I do it this year, I don't know. But they had this, the honeycomb. So look up on Pinterest what people are doing and the bee. Now, I had it in my cart yesterday and I thought, oh, are you really going to? So I put it back, and then I went back today because I saw ideas of what people did. So, yeah, that's dangerous. So I got that, and I don't know if the material will go with that or not. But anyway, okay, so I just think this is so cute. Life is better with friends. Is that not the truest thing ever? So I had to have that one, and it's just plain on the other side which you could do something on the other side if you wanted. 
Then, I thought this was kind of interesting. A photo frame with these plastic, you know, clear ones, but with a stand. So it's got this little stand. I like that idea. Oh, that's kind of clever. So I got one of those. They're bringing out all their spring and all their fun stuff. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. I don't know for sure where I'm going to put it. Probably in the downstairs bathroom. And then upstairs, I kind of have that teal. Well, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that seahorse. I just, look at the glimmer. That is so pretty. I can put it with my, I love, you know, I have my beach theme tear tray in the summer. So maybe these could be incorporated around that. I don't know. They are just too pretty to leave there. So I had to get them. And then just kind of fairy garden stuff for my summer tear tray beach theme is, aren't those cute? Got that. And then they had these. And these are the kind of things you kind of got to buy it when you see it because they go, they were wiped out today when I went back for that one thing. One, it looks like a rock with an octopus. I'll get them. Another one looks like it has the mermaid on there. Oh, she's kind of, she's had a rough waves got her or something. I didn't even look closely at her. And neither will anybody else when it's in a tear tray. And then I love this one with the seahorse. Aren't those cool? It's like, ah. So these are Fairy Garden Beach. So those will go into my beach theme stuff. All right. Then they, I don't know. They need to stop it. They have my number with the gnomes. And I'm not usually a big St. Patrick's person, but they had gnomes and cute. So I thought, well, that blue one over, I'm pointing over there. <laughs> Look, you can see my room. Anyway, where I have the trailers and stuff, I'll just make that my St. Patrick's Day. But as I'm checking out, look at this. This is really nicely done for candies and stuff. Um, yeah, it's like Valentine's glass container. It's like, oh my gosh, that looks like an expensive thing from like TJ Maxx or something. Oh, so, and it's got the, I don't know if you could do anything with that, but yeah, it's like, oh, I'll try that. And so St. Patrick's Day, got this for a tiered tray. I'm going to have to spray it. It's... I went over to my son's. He goes, Emma had glitter all over the dog. And I haven't seen Emma for since last week. And I'm like, I don't know why you're telling me. He goes, well, she got it somewhere. And I'm like, no, no. I don't think I gave her glitter. Anyway. Bless this home. So, tear tray. I'm going to have to do the drinking game again, you guys. Um, look, at they even have a trailer. Lucky and blessed. Cute. Seriously. Okay. They even had, then they had this welcome sign, St. Patrick's Day with a trailer. It's like they go, what will Kim buy? I know. She'll buy trailers and gnomes. Let's do trailers and gnomes. And dang it, they didn't get me. They had so many different gnomes. I didn't get every. This is one style. And they had three different ones. I got the girl. And she just would sit with her <laughs> creepy long legs yeah they almost need wire or something in them but anyway so i got her <clears throat> and then since i'm doing a tiered tray i got this little guy so come on cute he's got a little fuzzball nose which is nice and he's that I'm not usually a fan of that but the size is perfect for a tiered tray and don't worry, there's more. Look at these two. Like the ornaments they come out with for Christmas, only gnomes. Gosh, it's like, darn you, anyway. Aren't they cute? Just mad at them. So they had different gnomes, too, and I got, oh, he's got my, one of my snowflakes. He's sticking. I got these two, a couple. I think they had one that was kind of a, fuzzy. Anyway, I'm petting his beard. Sorry. He needs, needs grooming. But that typical, like they have done in the past at Christmas, well, now they got them and which really makes sense. Like a leprechaun, a gnome, kind of the same thing. I don't know. What do you think? Cute. And his partner, the girl, 
And again, they had different ones of these. Is that cute sequins? Isn't she cute? They're braids. Oh my gosh. It's like, come on, you guys. Give me a break here. And <clears throat> because I'm doing a tiered tray. <laughs> Jesus. I, they have different ones. It has a rainbow at the end. But of course, I picked the one with the gnome. Tassel. Cute. I mean, seriously. So it'll be cute. Cute. Of course it'll be cute. Everything's cute. Okay, so then I did more. They had a lot of Valentines out. And I didn't get all. I got three of the Valentine gnomes. Same style. Just Valentine's theme as the ones I just showed you. <clears throat> you got in a fight. Barroom brawl or something. His nose is kind of messed up. <laughs> Look at that. Cute. Look at her. Cute. And then I got this one. And they had this hat, like this style, with the pink and the red and pink. You know, opposite of this color. But got this guy. Boy, they need a combing. They're kind of rough looking. And got this for tear tray. So um, these for Emma and Tori. Going to be visiting my kids over there right about, um, it'll be right near Valentine's Day. So I'll just take it with me. And for the girls, I found also Scratch and Reveal Valentine Kits. What is it? Craft Kit. And so you get the scratcher and they can, and when you scratch it, it comes out with the pattern, the color. So I thought that'd be fun. So I got one for each of the girls. And I got one more. I'd already bought the other two. And I thought, well, Kim, you have three granddaughters now. Love is, so I thought this would be cute too, magic. So just for pictures, it's fun to put those in there. And what else? Yes, it kind of went nuts, as I do. So these are puffy stickers. Hug me, miss you. And they even have little shaker things. They shake. Really cute. I only got one because really, realistically, what am I going to do with them? I might split them between the girls and let them play with them. And Happy Valentine metal trailer steak. See? Trailer. They, they got my number. And I'd already bought the boy. So, ooh, she's got a, something happening there. Steak like this. So I got the girl one. And they have another one, but I think one of each. And then this in between out front of my place will be plenty. So, yeah, showed a little restraint there. Ha, ha, ha. They have one more thing that I wasn't understanding. Oh, then I got this. I thought this would be cute for Valentine's Day to cut out. Because I'm going to be working on my Cricut this week. Making Emma's birthday party theme. She has her theme this year is science. <laughs> Really? Are you sure? <laughs> I'm used to mermaids and unicorns and it's like science. Okay. So anyway, that will be a challenge, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. But anyway, here is, oh, they have the little tea towels. There's one with a red truck, but this one, there's nobody like you. So I hang that on my, by my tiered tray and I thought this fit into I may have already bought one of these in the past but Valentine's Day farmhouse look so there you go but they were showing so I was like oh what is this about they have the wood piece and then it has these like railings underneath they're almost like hanger type piece oh yeah you put the bows on that so cute oh, I might have to go get those anyway <laughs> it's just for fun all right, guys, so that's it for me, and I will be sharing what I come up with for the birthday party science. I'm just going to do a banner and some posters and not too much because, you know, it'll be busy in their house. And It's January, so they can't be outside, unfortunately. So, all right, guys, take care, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.